When it comes to water scarcity, Bahrain is quite high on the list um, of water scarce countries, but water scarcity is definitely an increasing issue across the world. And it's not water scarcity, it's potable water. So the title of the exhibition is Sweating Assets, and basically what it entails is looking at existing infrastructure in Bahrain and how can we maximize its potential and making the best out of it. So conditioning systems, when they provide comfort for people within enclosures, they suck the moisture out of the air. We kind of represent what happens as an observation, but also we represent a call to collect that through this installation over here. What this research entails basically is understanding how these systems work and quantifying um, the water that is generated across different scales, um, starting from the domestic to the commercial to the tower. If we were to collect the water that is generated from these AC technologies or these AC systems um, from all of the buildings um, in Bahrain and when accumulated together, um, there is immense potential that is currently not being utilized. Um, based off of our research and uh, calculations, what we found was that um, annually, you could irrigate almost three million palm trees. I think really with our response to the theme of the Biennale in general, about the laboratory of the future, we're very keen on not necessarily starting anew, not necessarily chasing new technologies, but looking at what we have. What, what exists? What can we adapt? What can we change? What can we shift? So our roles here and what we envision the roles of architects of the future is not necessarily to chase after or seek to make just new interventions. For example, with the coatings that we looked at, it's not a special formula. It's a formula that is an off-the-shelf product that is generally not used for this purpose. But we looked at ways and tested ways of misusing a product, not with its intended purpose, but instead for something that could benefit us. And doing that with the most minimal way. So adapting, tweaking most minimally for the most benefit.